happening here, the nation's first food tourism conference is about to get underway. And since Providence has been ranked number one for food and drink by Travel and Leisure magazine, it's only fitting that it's being held right here in Little Rhodey. Joining us this morning to tell us all about it is Chef Matt Jennings from Farmstead. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm, I'm great. I, I'm so excited to talk about this three-day event yep. called Taste Trekkers. And you're the keynote speaker. So first and foremost, what an honor for you. Well, thanks. Yeah, it is. It's, it's an honor to host an incredible event like this and to have uh, friends and, and uh, attendees come. And so it's going to be a great, great time. Yeah. So tell us, take us through this three days because I'm sure there's yeah. a lot happening. Yeah. So it's next weekend. It's here already. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, next mm -hmm. weekend. Um, and basically it's the nation's first conference based off of food tourism. So people who like to travel for food or just to go and eat and discover yeah. new cities. So it's a great way to show off Providence and all that has been happening here mm -hmm. and uh, in our little state and, uh, and uh, just discuss food tourism in general. The discussion is food, so I'm assuming that food will also be a big part of it yeah. in terms of tasting. Absolutely. So Friday night starts with uh, kind of some events downtown. There's going to be a cocktail reception at the Dorrance and uh, some dine arounds at various restaurants in the city. Yep. Saturday is a full day of seminars and educational panels. Um, our own Gail Champa from the Providence Journal, yeah. uh, the, the food editor there, is going to be doing a, 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 a little seminar on, on food tourism. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a bunch of tasting. There's a wonderful tasting pavilion that's going to be set up with vertical uh, honey tasting, uh, chocolates, how to make great uh, cab um, ceviche. Oh my gosh. Folks coming down from Vermont to taste out their <laughs> ice wine. So it's like a, it's a circus. Making our mouths water right now. Yeah. Um, you talked about a variety of food, but there's also some food trucks. I was yeah. hearing that are involved in this too. Yeah, there are. All the food trucks from from Providence will be there, and, and it's going to be really fun. On wow. Sunday, the last day, we're actually going to be doing a food truck brunch. So you can come down. You can kind of make a a la carte brunch out mm -hmm. of the various food trucks in the city. That's so. nice too, because you can probably choose something from this truck, something exactly, from that one, exactly. kind of hop Do around. Do a little grazing. You know? There you go. A little <laughs> grazing. We like that now. We mentioned that uh, Providence is ranked number one by Travel and Leisure Magazine. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, the, the city's just coming alive with great food culture, you know, mm -hmm. and it's been that way since we opened 10 years ago, and it's just kind of been, the momentum has been building, and there's, uh, you know, a lot of new places opening, and, and uh, so, you know, it, it's, I think, thanks in part to a lot of things. Definitely um, the climate that we're in, being near the ocean, being near yeah. amazing farmers and All farms. fresh food. Fresh, fresh food. Um, obviously, the uh, the immigrant influence and and some of uh, some of that. So yeah. um, it's a, just a great melting pot, and it's really coming alive with fantastic flavors. You said it right there. Now, if those of us that are interested in this event are are looking to get tickets, how do we do that? It's simple. It's tastetrekkers.com, and that's two K T R two Ks T R E K K E R S. Um, but tickets are still available. They're they're uh, great. Uh, price anywhere from twenty to sixty-five dollars mm -hmm. um, will get you in, depending on what seminars you're interested in. Wow. And, uh, it's all happening next weekend, so hope to see everybody there. All right, we, there will certainly be a lot of us, I'm sure. If you foodies want to check out Taste Trekkers, we'll be sure to post more information as well as a link to the ticket website that he mentioned on our page, wpri.com.